you can be making money by spending 10 minutes on Instagram every day right now. And by the end of this video, I want you to go off and be able to do exactly that. Have you seen these types of pages before? Let me introduce you to Instagram theme pages. Instagram theme pages essentially are pages which you repost content on. These are some of my personal ones which I've been running for a while and have found great success both in growing them and monetizing them. Now the first thing you want to do when creating a theme page either on TikTok or Instagram or both is think about the niche. Now some of the most profitable niches are motivation, travel, food, fitness, animals, but there are endless niches that you can create a theme page for. One of the most important aspects when picking a niche is for you to have a relative passion for it. So spend some time thinking about the niche that you want to go into. Take a look at some profiles on Instagram and TikTok now and go from there. But remember, this is an important step. So take some time on it. And guys, if at any point you have any questions throughout your process, please message me or comment on this video and I will be sure to reply. So you've picked your niche. Now, the next step that you need to do is branding. You want to create a profile that is professional, that stands stands out and that consumers will understand what content you're going to be posting. So the first thing we want to do is pick a name. The name that we want to pick needs to resonate with our audience. So if we're going for a niche in finance, for example, we want to pick a name that includes a word that is related to finance or the word itself. So for example, we could call it something like finance club or finance squad. We love finance. There are so many ideas. It's just about you being creative and coming up with a name. A quick tip here is to look at competitors if you want some inspiration. Now you've picked your name, let's move over to to your logo. I would use a platform such as Canva to create your logo such as this. At this stage, there are a lot of presets on Canva that you can use that you could just pick and get things going. And then as your page grows, you can potentially pay someone on a platform such as Fiverr to create a more HD one. But at the beginning, using platforms such as Canva is perfectly fine. So you've picked your name and you've got a logo. So the next step is to create your Instagram profile, upload your logo and to put the name you've chosen. Now the next step is to optimize our bio. Here's an example of an optimized bio for the finance sector. As you can see, they've made it clear exactly what their audience should expect from them. So they've put a bit about themselves. So sharing knowledge for the last two years and essentially what they bring to you, which is practical tips to save and make money. So when someone comes on their profile, they will understand immediately what type of content they should expect and it will make them more inclined to follow as it's a professionally optimized buyer. In your name part, here, you want to put your name and then also your quick three word summary of exactly what you do. So for example, Dave put business investing finance. So when someone types any of those keywords, they will come up in the Instagram search algorithm. And guys, this applies also for TikTok. It's extremely similar in terms of the way pages are structured. So guys, now you've created your bio, you've got a page, you've got your logo, your name, your niche, you're ready to start posting and actually start building that post count. Now, with posting, this is the part that is going to take you 10 minutes a day or even less than that. The way I like to do it is spending like one hour a week and just curating all of my content for those seven days. The amount that I like to post on either TikTok or Instagram, you can use the same content by the way, is around four times a day, but you can do more, but I would never do more than seven posts a day. The way to get content is the best part. It's so easy. We're going to find some finance accounts, which obviously doing well. And what we're going to do is actually just repost that content. Now, something important to do, if the content has been uniquely made by someone or it has a person's face in it, something like that, it's important for us to always credit in the caption and it's okay for us to use that content. So what we're going to do is pick five competitors. We're going to go through their profiles. 
we're going to press reels or swipe and just pick and save all of the content that is performing the best. So if there's a page with consistently 50,000 views, 50,000 views on reels, what we want, and, and then some of them have 200,000, 300,000, we want to go through the page and save all the ones that are 200, 300,000 as these are the best performing reels and will go viral quicker on our page. Pick five competitors, save a bunch of content like 30, 50 pieces, it shouldn't take you long, maximum 20, 30 minutes. And now you've got 30, 50 pieces of content that are ready to post. And this should last you around a week. Now the next step here is to actually post them. Now the way I post my content is using a social media scheduler such as Later, Hootsuite, or even the Meta Suite itself. I would pick one of these pieces of software. You can get them for relatively cheap or free. In fact, with Meta and Later, they allow you to post a certain number for free. This allows you to curate and just plan all of your content, looking at something like this. So for a full week, you'll be able to schedule everything, know the times and present it in a way that you think is aesthetic. This is how you're going to go forward and post your content. And it's so easy. And once you get into the swing of things and find what content works best for your channel, etc., you'll be doing it with your eyes closed. Trust me. Anytime you have a question or an idea in your head and you want to ask me, go for it. I know my account is relatively new at the moment, but I'm really available for you guys to help you on this journey. Now, the next steps are obviously to grow those accounts. I recommend doing unfollowing and following for your first thousand followers. Don't do more than 30 of those actions every two hours and keep it to around four or five times a day. I've tried this with many, many, many accounts and it is a quick way for you to get a thousand followers. So try it. Ask me any questions if you have any, but it's a good way to start. Go to your competitors' profiles, their latest posts and follow the 30 people who have liked the most recent post and do that four times a day, six days a week, and it should get your followers up. I would recommend posting as many reels as you can. If you pick a niche where it's mostly swipes, then swipes are also really good, but I would definitely recommend trying to get reels in there. If your content can go viral, like some of my videos, then you will be able to explode your accounts. And I've had months where I've grown 50,000 followers from going viral. So definitely try to use reels and picking the right audio. Next thing to do now is the moment you guys have been waiting for, which is monetizing. You guys, you could do so many different things in terms of monetizing with these pages. So when we first created the page, we wanted to create it like a brand. So at this point now, we've got some followers, our page is brandable. So we can either create our own products, whether it's digital or physical and sell those on a website, or we could do drop shipping, which is a method that I'm using right now, or we could do affiliate marketing. On top of that, you can do a combination of multiples. So you could do a lot of these pages make thousands a month doing paid promotions influencers and smaller pages and businesses will pay you for a shout out. One of my favorite benefits of creating these types of accounts is that you can actually start social media marketing for other businesses and other people as you have now visual proof that you know how to grow an account in a professional capacity. And this can generate you tens of thousands a month. If you have any questions, please let me know. But this essentially is how to create a theme page and how to monetize it. I've been doing them for years and I've been able to create a social media marketing agency. I've been able to do drop shipping, create brands, digital products. Though there's a lot of benefits to doing them.